Welcome back to Books TV. Lads, uh, FA Cup first round proper, Saturday, York away. What, what's the feeling in the, uh, in the dressing room? Feeling, feeling's good. Uh, we've had a small blip last game against Colm, but we put it behind us and uh, we're looking forward, we're feeling confident. It's been a, a strange past week with things off the field, but we'll go into Saturday full confidence, looking to get a good result. Two training sessions under the belt, obviously off the back of the last game. Um, do you feel like you prepared well for the York game and, and feel confident going into it? Yeah, I think we've um, seen the new gaffer and seen what he can bring to the table. I think it can only make us better. So, obviously we've had such a good start to the season and then having that little extra push now, I think um, it's only going to make the squad better. We've got such a good group as it is anyway. And I think, um, especially going into Saturday, it's given us a a good confidence boost as well. Massive away support going Saturday from the Buxton fans. <coughs> um, potentially rumours of about a 4,000 strong crowd in York. Does that affect you as players in any way going into that? Obviously it is the biggest crowd you would have played in this season. No, I don't think so. I think we're, we're just going to it how we always have. I don't think, um, obviously, we'll be able to hear and they'll, they'll be behind us, but also on our backs, the York fans. But, once you're on the pitch, I think all focus is just on the game. When you're playing, you sort of put it behind you, you don't listen to it and you just focus on, on your job. So I think it can only make us better, we're sort of in front of the fans. I think it, it'll push us to, uh, to perform to the best of our ability. So I think it can only make us better on the day. And it's massive, obviously, if you could get into the, the second round, um, furthest that anyone's been in over 60 years then. Is it, is it something quite... Um, Pleasing, I guess, to, to be breaking records as a, as, a, as a squad this season. Obviously, you keep keep achieving different milestones. Is it is it nice personally and as a team to, to achieve those sort of goals? Yeah, it's great to be part of it, to be honest. It's a pleasure. The, um, a cliche, but we don't look past Saturday. It'd be great to, it'd be great to go on another round, but can't look past York. They're a good team, full-time, uh, league above. We can only go there with a good mindset. Confident, see what we can do, trusting our players, trusting our ability, do what we've done all season, except for our last game, but we've got that behind us, as I've said. And just finally, obviously, as a squad, you've looked in the last couple of games, uh, sort of days training, um, look, it looks a happy camp, looks like it's positive. Is that a big thing to take into that game that you go into it with a positive mindset and feel like you're going to get something from the game? Oh, yeah, of course. There's no point going into a game, even though they're the league of all them, they're full time, there's no point thinking that. It's like I've, um, we've said all season, we can compete with anybody on our day. We've got a great group of lads with so much quality in the team. So, there's, obviously we won't be complacent going into the game, but going forwards, it's no difference when you're in the game and we'll back ourselves going into it. Brilliant. Thank you very much and obviously good luck Saturday. You done? You're done. Dillo, part of the... Uh... Part of the first team squad, FA Cup away at York, first round proper. Um, just for the club, it's 60 years since since the club's been there. How does it feel for you personally as, a, as an academy graduate being part of that? Personally, I just think it's a, it's an amazing feeling to be in first round of the FA Cup. It's obviously a big achievement for myself and the team. And it's just very exciting for the boys and, and for me. So for you personally, um, obviously a young lad coming into the squad, a lot of experienced pros in there, uh, Jamie Ward, Ben Turner, um, Diego. How does it feel being around that, um, the experience wise of you know, in playing in the FA Cup, getting so far as the club has um, at such an early age for yourself as well? How, how does that feel personally? Uh, to be around like uh, Jamie Ward and Diego and, and Ben Turner, obviously it's, uh, it's very good for me as a player. Um, so they obviously show me uh, how to act, it, not just as a player, but just as a person when I'm uh, whilst I'm playing. Uh, also, like just on the football side of things, I've learned a lot already in the short time that I've been around them, and uh, just to be where we are, I'm just very excited. 
as I said, lots of experience within within the first team squad. Do you feel like you've linked particularly with any of those um, to sort of guide you? I guess um, you know from from a young age, learning tricks, learning learning just little traits from them that they pick up that, that, that makes them better that, that maybe could can help you in your career. I think um, mainly what who I think I've learned the most off at the moment is probably it probably is Jamie Ward. He's learned me a lot on just mainly just before games when we're doing our shooting just before we also come out to play. He's just learned me little things like where where to aim, what to do when I'm shooting, like how to compose and just strike how to strike the ball a lot cleaner and stuff like that. Just little adjustments that make a big difference. And, and with all that in mind, obviously, you've got plenty of first team experience yourself this season, a um, couple of appearances here and there. Um, did you expect that for you, from yourself? You know what I mean? Obviously, you work hard, train every day with Nigel, with the academy. Um, do you feel like you've sort of been rewarded for, for, your, for your own hard work? Uh, yeah, I think over, over the last year, it's been, it's been kind of very tough, very. Uh, grueling like you could say from the academy side of things because um, last year was we played a lot of good teams we played stoke city academy we played in um, pascal chimbonis academy which were good academy sides and then to come up to the first team it's even though that was a good standard it's just completely different it's a lot quicker the plays a lot faster it's you don't have really have time to take more than one or two touching it's just a lot it's a lot faster than what you'd and it's also very physical been around different games this season. Um, obviously, the, the two Kettering games over a thousand people at each of those. York, it's sort of rumoured to be potentially four thousand. There's there's around a thousand. It's, it's the biggest away sport York have had since moving to their new stadium. As a young player, how you know how do you feel about that? You know, having having so many people there, eyes on you, and, and being part of football. Yeah, I'm just excited because a lot of the academy lads are going as well, and. Um... I've I've been around like big crowds for like quite a bit in my life, and um, I'm just excited to see what's what's going to happen. And honestly, hopefully we can get the win in front of the in front of the books. And with that experience yourself now, obviously as you say, you're learning from players like Jamie Ward, Diego, Ben Turner, Josh Granny. That obviously the list goes on with the with the first team that have been in and around it, and you're picking up skills from them and, and little traits. Do you feel like you can now go back to the academy daily and sort of share? your experience with, with the academy lads and give them tips because obviously you've proven to those lads that there is a pathway here at Buxton if you know if you if you work hard, train hard and your talent shines through. Do you feel like you can now sort of impose some of your experience from that and help help guide the younger lads coming through in the next generations? Uh, yeah definitely. I have a lot of um, a lot of the academy lads ask questions anyway with, with me and you and everyone being like the only lads that have been in around the first team. So a lot of them ask questions anyway. So uh, I think a lot of them know that there is a chance to get to the first team and it's you've just got to put in the hard work and prove to Nigel and then prove to obviously the new gaffer that you can you can play at that level. And just finally, um, moving away from the FA Cup but just touching on to the academy, obviously you work daily with, with Nigel. Um, for, for even younger aspiring footballers, um, you know, I mean, what what would you say about Buxton Football Club and your experience of coming through the academy and into the first team and, and how useful that's been to yourself? I'd say the the most important thing is when you're coming into the academy on the football side of things is just hard work because when you're training every single day, you're touching, you're passing and your technique will it will come. But the hard work is what really gets you through the games. Like pre season normally it's a lot of running, it's a lot of like you probably won't do much passing until like later on in the pre-season and it's just standards as Nike would say like it just as long as you do doing standards then that's that's like what it will give back to you and obviously I've I've worked hard to get to where I am and, and Nike's helped me get to the first team and it's the same for every other player in the academy. Brilliant well uh, thank you very much and obviously good luck Saturday and uh, hopefully we'll be celebrating at five o'clock or yeah, whenever it is.